Hello, I'm Adam. This is Samsung Dreadbot and you guessed. This is its battery. <laughs> okay, so what's wrong with this battery? And uh, unfortunately, after moving to my home, uh, the Samsung Jetbot uh, somehow turned on and uh, battery got drained. So I've got very round zero on the terminals. And uh, yeah, I checked that before. So unfortunately, I need to look inside and maybe replace some cells, but Unfortunately, this battery, same as in the Samsung Jet series, it's pretty nicely sealed. So, let's try to... don't crack it open. <laughs> uh, okay. First, I will try to see if there is a space anywhere. Okay. Or maybe any screws. No. Okay. So probably clips. But Oops, <laughs> it cracked there. Oh, I didn't want it. <laughs> like there. But I almost got. Okay, there we go. <sighs> Guys, don't do this. Yeah, and as we can see, everything got sealed. And it's totally glued. There are no clips like in the Samsung Jet vacuum cleaner series. Oh, wow, wow, I didn't expect it that. As we can see, there is a P minus, P plus, marked there as plus, as minus, and there is SDA and SCR, so there is a A square C communication with the battery. Wow. Okay, that's how the battery looks like. Uh, not a lot to be honest. Just the yeah. current sensing, standard battery uh, that sells. Okay, mm, now let's get the. Let's go further. Okay, uh, quick update. Uh, that's how the battery looks like with the LG MJ1 cells, as we can see. Uh, yeah, generally, <laughs> just the color change. Uh, what's interesting, uh, there are outputs P minus P plus, and uh, I just, I'm just after replacing the cells. And as you can see, the voltage on terminals is like, I have no idea. So it looks like the BMS is still locked. Uh, so let's connect the uh, battery to the vacuum and let's see if it will be alive, woken up by command or something. I hope. <laughs> Okay, guys, uh, this is an example of how to not uh, wire your BMS. <laughs> I think I don't need to explain why. Uh, but okay, so generally what can uh, go wrong there? Uh, there are so close contacts that could uh, touch each other, but that's not a very big problem because I can just I hot glue this and it will be secured but there are so many connections which could be for example 
uh, this wire can be uh, in time uh, the insulation can be damaged and there can be a short circuit and uh, yeah what else uh, the cable are one square millimeter so uh, it's uh, ready for 10 amps so generally it should be fine uh, but yeah I'm just doing it from curiosity will it work will it be able to charge or no I don't recommend doing it like this and uh, yeah even there can in time uh, the solder can break the insulation from this wire and yeah generally it's totally not safe and uh, i won't use this battery anymore uh, but anyway let's give it a try yeah <laughs> because yeah i've got output on the output pins okay let's see how it will fit but first i yeah of course uh, I won't use the top cover because now it won't uh, uh, fit, so whatever. Uh, so I will just use, but that shouldn't be a problem. I press it like this and okay, and for example, once oh works wow yay <laughs> okay but the question is is it uh, uh, does this thing can charge this thing up and that's the question 